Now, the other game, BU Denver, this is going to be the better of the two matchups. They're mirror images of each other, but BU is the brand name everyone knows, and Denver is the just as effective store brand, at least when it comes to the name recognitions of the rosters. Both are top heavy teams with depth and can score. Uh, you know, Macklin Celebrini, we've talked about a bunch, Lane Hudson, uh, Luke Tuck, Ryan Green, Shane Lachance, Terriers are loaded. Pioneers boast Jack Devine, Tristan Braz, Carter King, Massimo Rizzo, and the Boyan brothers. Um, this will, again, will be a who can shut down the other team better situation. And I give that edge to D- Denver because of the Boyan brothers. Um, if it does turn into like an up and down scoring game, as good and deep as BU is, Denver is the top scoring team in the nation. So I think Denver can pull off the upset here. And I'm leaning that way. I've got a BC Denver final, but I still got BC taking it all. I want to see. Uh... I want to see Boston University take this one as well. I also, I was, you know, not that I care for Boston in general, but BC versus BU in the final, I could get behind that. Lots of, lots of Montreal mm-hmm. Canadian prospects in there. You got the future, you know, the next first overall pick in the tournament as well. I mean, Denver is a good team. That you know, they, they've earned their stripes. They've gotten there. They worked hard. You know, and like you said, one, one of the highest scoring teams. So the, the, they've the, they deserve to be there. There's a no question about that. For me, it's watching Lane Hudson, the way that he skates, his offense. Like he's good defensively, but this is a guy who just pushes the play up. And when, like, when you're a team that has to deal with three forwards and you also have a defenseman who can jump up in the rush and make good decisions and just, you know, push that extra envelope a little bit, it becomes really hard to defend. Like it's tough to defend three forwards. And then you throw a defenseman in there as well who likes to jump up. Uh, man, I, I don't know how, like Denver may have to wait for their chances, kind of, you know, play calm, play it out to, you know, kind of your rope and dope here a little bit and then capitalize on the chances that you're going to get. But I, I, I want to see both Boston teams go out because I just, I want my cake and I want to eat it. I think it would be a great matchup, but I think Denver's got what it takes. 